Hey there, what's up? Tim Warner here, welcoming you to this brief tutorial I've called Just-in-Time Administration with Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. Let me outline the problem case and the solution, and then I'll perform the rest of this presentation in demo. The problem is you have too many Azure administrators. We have Azure AD on one side and Azure Resources on the other. Doesn't matter which one, although in the demo I'm going to focus on Azure AD, but you may not even know who all your admins are. Not everyone needs permanent administrative privilege. How can you enforce least privileged security in just-in-time administrative elevation in Azure? Well, there's an answer to that question. The downside is that you have to be licensed for Azure AD Premium P1 or P2. This is a per-user license that is a flat fee per month, and you'll only need premium licenses for the administrators who will be involved in Azure Active Directory Privileged Identity Management, or Azure AD PIM for short. Let's get started. Here I am logged into the Azure portal as a fictional user named Jason Reader. Let's say that Jason is accustomed to being an Azure AD Global Administrator. So he can come into Azure Active Directory whenever he needs to, for instance, create a new Azure AD user or group, and he has access to these controls. But what if we determine that Jason only uses his administrative privileges in Azure Active Directory every so often? How about we boot him out of the Global Administrators group and have him do a formal request for time-limited access to that very high-privilege role. Global Admin is the highest role in Azure AD, akin to the owner role in your Azure resource side. Well, let me switch my browser context. And from an administrative standpoint, I'm going to go into Azure AD Privileged Identity Management. I've already got my Azure AD Premium license assigned, so we don't have to worry about that. There are some preliminary steps to setting up PIM. You have to consent to the service. You have to be a global administrator. To onboard subscriptions onto the Azure resource side, you'll need to have appropriate permissions there. I'm considering my TIM account to be the permanent global administrator. Also, there's a lot more to privileged identity management than what I'm going to show you. There's approval processes, there's access reviews, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. I encourage you to check the documentation for more info on that. I'm just focusing here in this demo on one specific feature of PIM, and that is the just-in-time administrative elevation. Let me show you how that works. So as a PIM administrator, we'll come down past tasks, this is the self-service area right here, down to manage. And then we can go down the streams of either Azure AD or Azure Resources. We want Azure AD in this example. So we'll click Azure AD Roles, and it takes us into this separate settings pane. And we'll scroll down again past the self-service and come down under Manage Roles. You can search and audit these roles either in the role context or you could do it by member. In other words, we could look up Jason and see at a glance what roles he's currently been assigned but I'm going to go directly to roles and we'll scroll down to the most privileged one of them all, Global Administrator. Here it is. And we can see that Jason is a permanent assignee. Now we could permanently boot him out of this role by selecting his account and selecting role member, but we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to open the context menu and choose Make Eligible. Now what this is going to do after the change goes into effect, let me refresh, is boot Jason out of Global Administrator. He'll have to request elevation if and when he needs access to this role. Now, as I said, you can optionally add an approval workflow to this. That's beyond our scope in this lesson. Now, let's come back to Jason's session, and to refresh his user access token, we'll sign out and sign back in. Here we go. And now, if we browse to Azure Active Directory and head on over to Users, the new user and the bulk options are grayed out. We can step back one and come down to Roles and Administrators and verify that Jason's role right now in Azure Active Directory is just that of the user, low privilege. So how can Jason do an administrative elevation request? Well, he now, as an end user, will come back into Azure Active Directory Privileged Identity Management and under Tasks, we'll go to My Roles. And we can see that he's been made eligible for Global Administrator. Its status is not active. I'm going to choose Activate here to initiate an activation. Here we've just got some general metadata. We'll then click Activate. 
Notice that we can either immediately activate or we can specify a custom activation start time. Jason, for instance, might realize that he's got to go for a dentist appointment, so he wants to, this elevation to be ready to go, but later on in the day, let's say. Otherwise, it's going to be immediately. Now, the duration policy is set by the PIM administrator. Looks like I must have set a two-hour maximum duration for the elevation. But notice that Jason can be a good steward and bring this down and say, well, I'm not going to need more than, say, 30 minutes here. Pretty nice. Notice that you have to provide an activation reason. This is a required field. And then we click Activate. Now, if you have an approval workflow, the user will be stuck here, and Jason will have to go back and look at his requests in the queue. But because I explicitly disabled the approval workflow, this should go through OK with no additional intervention required. There we go. So it looks like that the activation request has been submitted. Again, we have to refresh his token here. So let's go to sign out and we'll sign back in. And then if we come back to Azure Active Directory, back to users, we've got our administrative controls on the toolbars. And if we come back to roles and administrators, we can verify that at least now for the next 60 minutes or 59 minutes, or actually it's 30 minutes is what I selected for Jason. He's running in the context of global administrator. Now, once Jason finishes, this is going to be a training issue that you'll want to do with your employees. He can come back into PIM and he can relinquish his request. To do that under tasks, we can go to my roles. And if we flip over to active role, we can see how long our global administrator access will be valid until, and then he can deactivate because he knows he's finished with it. All of these actions are logged and tracked because part of the Azure AD Privileged Identity Management value proposition is that you can put some strong governance in your high-privilege roles, both for Azure AD as well as for Azure Resources. To finish out, notice that there's this My Requests and approve requests. Now this is showing a list, a report basically, of all the times that Jason has requested elevation and what the status was, and you can view the reason and so on. A PIM administrator can actually download and print these reports. I'm just looking at it from Jason's end user standpoint. And if Jason were an approver, he could actually approve requests by going into this panel here, approve requests. So there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. My contact information is at Twitter. I'm Tech Trainer Tim. My Pluralsight courses, you can find those at timw.info forward slash ps. And my personal website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks again. Take good care.